why is the virgin birth so important for those that have been in for a while? He was undefiled. And how is it that those who are not born of the virgin are defiled? Born of man seed. Man of seed. Man seed. And Jesus Christ was not. Most people have a hard time recognizing the virgin birth, but without the virgin birth, uh, Jesus would not be the perfect Lamb of God to take away the sins for those who put their faith, hope, and trust in Him. From these passages, it is clearly, it is certainly clear that Jesus' birth was the result of the Holy Spirit working in Mary's body. The Spirit and the material womb were both involved. Mary, of course, could not impregnate herself, and in that sense, she was simply a vessel. Only God could perform the miracle of the Incarnation. However, denying the physical connection between Mary and Jesus would imply that Jesus was not truly human. Scripture teaches that Jesus was fully human, with a physical body like ours. This he received from Mary. At the same time, Jesus was fully God, with an eternal, sinless nature. Are there cults out there that tell you that Jesus was not God? Yeah. The God of the Bible tells us that Jesus is God. And in Hebrews chapter 2, starting in verse 14, Hebrews chapter 2, starting in verse 14, Inasmuch then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same, that through death he might destroy him who had the power over death, that is the devil, and release those who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. So who is all who is subject to bondage throughout their lifetime? And what does it mean to be subject to bondage? What is sin? The wrong way. What is sin? Missing the mark. Missing the mark. We're out. Here, we were going through the book of Acts on Thursday, and uh, in the commentary notes that we were reading through the book of Acts in chapter twenty, it states. It is your sin that separates you from God. And people always tell me, I hear often, you know, Walt, you're lacking the love message of it. But the fact of it is, is that it is love when I talk to grown men in their 40s and 50s and 30s. That is your alcohol. It is your drugs. It is your uh, gambling. It is your addicted pornography. It is your fornication. That is keeping you separated from God. For those that have ears that can't hear, one more time, it is your alcohol, it is your drugs, it is your gambling, it is your fornication.